myself. Um, I'm Cedric Ravalek. I'm the CEO of a young startup in France whose name is Jenny Mobile. And uh, just to present or myself, um, um, I've been working, uh, so I'm an engineer in IT. I've been working more than uh, 13 years in open source uh, in France and selling uh, open source projects to the French government for big migration. And uh, I create uh, Angelique and I, um, the company Jenny Mobile two years ago. Uh, just, so, sorry about that, I, I would like to present you also, uh, so Daniel, who is, who is in a uh, hangout with us. Um, so Daniel, can you, so, so Daniel is uh, responsible for and research and development inside our company. I'll let you present you. Okay, so um, hello everybody. I'm very sorry not, not being here today because I have some problems. I couldn't, I had to cancel my flight, but I'm sorry for that. So, um, so I manage the R&D team and Jenny Mobile and uh, uh, I especially manage the Android VM uh, products that uh, Cedric will present now. Okay, thank you. So just to have a, a small focus of who we are and what we're doing. So, uh, like I told you, we, have, we are two-year experiences. We're a company of uh, 30 people based in Paris and in Lyon, in the south of France, near the mountains. And um, so we are uh, doing a quite big business in France because we're in two years we're doing uh, more than uh, $2.5 million turnover. And we do around five, I think, million dollars this year. We have a growing very, very fast. And we're specialized only on Android, and mainly on Android operating system. Um, we are mainly working on RAM cooking and making RAM for French company. Uh, I can give you a few examples of uh, reference we do have. Um, first of all, we are doing in France all the support, B2B support for Android for Samsung. So all Samsung project in France, uh, who is for B2B, uh, we are doing all the support for them, um, so it's quite a big project and big things to do with us uh, because Samsung is the leader in France, in the world, that in France also on, on Android. Um, we also work with Thales, it's a French company specialized in security and defense and we work for them for a solution on Android and sec on security on Android and to develop specific, bring your own device on Android and we develop the system with them. <coughs> We also work, uh, what well, the biggest project in the world on Android, it's for the French Post. They will deploy more than 100,000 uh, Android smartphones for all the French Post people. Uh, so we're, doing, we're working with the RAM on their system for them. And the last thing, we work also a lot with the industry, French industry. Um, I'm talking about it later on. Um, and the biggest project is for um, Clear Channel, you know it in France. It's a competitor of Clear, Clear Channel. It's a leader in the world. It's J.C. Deco, um, who do digital display on the street and bus station, thing like that. And we are developing for them the RAM for the future version of J.C. Deco digital display based on Android. For the presentation of the company. So we come from the consulting, and we're now coming on the software part with Android and Android VM. Uh, so why Android VM and uh, what is the record about it? So a year and a half ago, uh, we've been contacted to work on Android on x86. Uh, we had to work on Android virtualization on x86 uh, to generate uh, a few images of it. And so we started to be involved in the open source project, Android x86, and we do some contribution and this is where we start to work on Android RAM and on base on this kind of uh, processor and architecture. Um, so the record we, we, we do find at the moment is um, the, 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 the Google uh, approach with his SDK and his emulator. Uh, most of the developer 
we were talking and with and the people in our team were not very satisfied about what Google did with our emulator. It's quite slow, complicated to configure, so to have good optimization. Um, this is the main focus we, we record, we, we, we do find, and it wasn't very easy to do the integration with testing um, and to industrialize all the testing and also to test some RUM for our industry and OEM client. It wasn't very useful. Um, so that's why we, we, we would like to develop a new solution and a new emulator, a new open source, totally open source emulator, and this is where Android VM um, start. Uh, so the, the main solution is we need to have an emulator who can be integrated into the Android SDK, uh, who is made by Google, and who is more quickly, quickly uh, very useful, um, and that every developer in the world can use it. And this, that's why we are here today and we came to America, because we think that this emulator could be the emulator that every people who would like to develop RAM or to develop application up on Android will use this emulator instead of the Google Google. So I would start to do a small demo in parallel of the presentation. Um, so if you have any technical question, very technical question, when I do the demo, uh, Daniel, who is connected to us, can answer to this technical question. Uh, so we have three main benefits by using our emulator. The first one is the simplicity of it. Very simple. So I will show you a demo of it. So first of all, um, our emulator is based on a uh, virtual box. Uh, I explain you later on why we did, we, we did start with virtual box and not KVM and also uh, other things. Uh, so, in VirtualBox, we define some uh, specific virtual machine who is based on Android. Uh, I will go later on how we build it and uh, which version. Uh, but this is the host and the server side where you have the RAM. So, uh, I have uh, three RAM uh, we did create. Uh, one is um, AOSP and S64 uh, French RAM. Another one is American one. And another one is for testing sensors. So this is a host, and uh, I need a player to play the VM. So we did develop a player that is open source. You can find it on GitHub. Um, so, So sorry, it's in French. I launch it. Uh, now, now it's in English. Um, okay, when I launch it, so uh, it helps you to configure uh, which VM you would like to have and which behavior it will have. So uh, you can have preset resolu uh, resolution. Uh, so it could be tomorrow when we work with OEM, it could be which kind of device you would like to have, like Samsung or, I don't know, like a uh, um, Parrot, a radio system, whatever. You can define every definition you want and every device you want tomorrow with it. Uh, or you can define your own definition, manual definition. So just for the purpose of the test. Um, and you can have a full, full, full screen approach. So here I choose, so I'm directly connected to VirtualBox. I, I, I choose which VM I would like to launch. Uh, and I have specific setting, I, I won't go ahead today, but it's more for the, where is the program and if I want to launch it in a terminal or not. Uh, but I, I don't need to use it for the demo. So it's quite simple to, install, to, to run it. And if you don't have configure uh, a parameter for the internet, for example, or for uh, Open GL acceleration, it will configure it to you. And this, uh, this player is working in um, three main um, uh, systems Linux, Windows, and Macintosh, Mac. So 
So the player uh, is uh, um, contacting directly the virtual box and connected to it by the internet, by uh, an IP address, and it will launch um, directly the uh, virtual machine. So you see it's quite simple to configure and to install it. This player um, could be connected definitely by all the tools for a developer like Eclipse uh, and testing tools. We can see this afterward. And this could be definitely integrated in the SDK. Uh, okay. Just go by there. Uh, so you can see it's very simple to launch it. Um, and this is very important. We work more and more to have it uh, at the end. It will be an exec uh, executable, dot .exe, uh, or binary. And we work to have directly everything into the, a key, a USB key, like a live a USB key when you just have to plug in it, and you have all the system inside, and you just have to run it. The simplest it is, the better it is for the developers and the, and the system developers. The second benefit is the performance of this emulator. So I show you the performance with the demo. So uh, like you can see it's quite fluid, uh, like you have in a tablet. So just to show you a, a few things. The first thing is very useful is you don't catch up the mouse. Uh, it seems simple, but you, the mouse, you can, you, 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 you can get out of the VM or inside the VM, and uh, you, you, the, the mouse is not catching up by the, by the windows. I don't know if it's, I'm right in English, but this is very useful. Um, we all recognize when we are connected to the internet like an Android device. So you can access to the market and like an ARM device, like phone or whatever. Um, so the thing is very important. We integrate OpenGL acceleration. So you can play games. Uh, or your application here. Uh, publicity. any emulator in the market to go so quickly than this one. Um, and you have also some people on the net who develop their own Ubuntu distribution with Android VM to play games uh, on the PC. Um, I'll show you another demo. So it's, it's quite a little bit more longer because you have a, a big 3D uh, uh, graphics. Uh, so it just let me sometimes to explain you a little bit the player. So like I told you, the player is open source. You can download it on the GitHub. And we work actually to defi define some specific uh, uh, screens. So you can adapt. Uh, here you have the physical button uh, you can have on your device. And um, we, um, we try to uh, uh, discuss with OEM to define all the uh, adaptation of the, s the, 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 the window um, graphics so it can be adapted about your projects if you want a phone or whatever. So, uh, how you can see, uh, it's quite very quick, um, and um, that is the quickest player found with an emulator you can find on the market. Go ahead. I beg your pardon? Ah. No, we don't find any benchmark, but when you talk to developers, they, everyone say it's so quick. So, uh, but I'm interested if, if you use it to give us some feedback. Okay. Um, uh, other thing is interesting, and we, we uh, sorry, we work on it. You can. Uh, in life, 
modify the window size. So this was big work also. Uh, so and uh, so this show you a little bit <coughs> how quick it is and how smoothly this simulator uh, is for for people. Uh, so I come back to the um, to the presentation. So we see the performance. Um, and the last thing is uh, it's adaptable. And this is very important because uh, one of our main focus, and that's why we are here at Android Builder Summit, it's this uh, emulator. Uh, we would like it to be used by OEM in the industry who would like to develop some products who will use Android and to have their RAM that is emulated into uh, Android VM. And so you can adapt, like I told you, the screens. Uh, you can adapt uh, all the OS and to have specific sensor of the manufacturer. Um, you can have the camera, uh, Bluetooth, 3G, 4G. We all work on this. And, and because it's open source, you can adapt everything on it. Um, so this also is uh, something very important for the market. Um, so what we've done and what is the uh, Android architectures? Uh, so, and how will we begin to work technically on it? So, in the uh, ICS uh, version of uh, IOSP, you have a first target for a uh, virtual box, but this target was not finished yet, and you uh, you have a few driver who was missing, and the first one typically was the mouse driver uh, at this time. So. We start by developing uh, the, the driver for the mouse, um, and we contribute in the Android X86 project to uh, give all the code we do develop. Uh, after that, we develop also the driver for the Ethernet, um, for the target of VirtualBox. Um, after that, we develop also the uh, real-time clock driver. So when you are in the VM, You have the time who is working, and the clock, and the alarm who is working. Um, we did also uh, adapt uh, all the power management, so you can have feedback about the batteries, uh, about your PC, like if it was on your phone. Um, we also adapt audio, so the driver and all the script for Alza Audio, so you can have the sound on it. It wasn't uh, uh, available. Um, we also work, and this a lot of developers ask us for that, uh, to have uh, access file sharing between the host and the virtual machine. So you can have on your PC and you can access to your P PC uh, file system when you are in the virtual machine. Um, like if it, if it was an SD card, for example. And we also uh, develop for the USB key. So when you plug in a USB key, it's recognized by uh, the virtual machine. Um, also, for the application to work, we did do a, an adaptator uh, and a simulation for the Wi Fi. So, uh, li like you can see here in the VM, uh, we do an adaptator that to simulate the Wi Fi when you are connected to the Ethernet. So, all the application can work because at the, uh, uh, at the basic, if you have Ethernet, the application won't work directly. Uh, so, of course, OpenGL, so it was very important, uh, so w we, uh, we, we implement OpenGL, and so that's why it's so quick for 3D and, and, for, uh, and for game. Um, and the last thing we, 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 well, we do also, we work for testing side, we do a reverse engineering of the Houdini library from Intel, uh, so... Uh, so you can emulate uh, and uh, all applications have been compiled for ARM uh, processor and so you can launch, that's why it's working. So when, when you use application like uh, Angry Bird, you have some code who is pre-compiled for ARM, it can run on x86. So it's because we use an, in, uh, the Udini library from uh, Intel, they use them there in their phone. So this is for testing purpose. Um, and we also develop um, 
a small, uh, a small application, because it's the first version, but uh, a non-Roo VM configuration application, uh, uh, where you, you can uh, actually just uh, put some preference. For example, for the keyboard, uh, you can have physical keyboard, virtual keyboard, and booth. Uh, when, when you use your, your application and you want to test. You can force also uh, the statue bar you have here to have always a button okay, um, on the emulator. And tomorrow we will add more and more like sensors. Uh, yeah, um, so we work, we work in it. So we have two approach for the sensor. Um, it will be uh, physically in the, uh, in the virtual machine or you can connect it to your device and use the sensor of the device and communicate with IDB with a virtual machine. Um, so all this uh, uh, adaptation we've done, we've done it for Android VM, and we also put all the code and we contribute to the Android x86 project. Uh, we have very good relation with them. So all, everything you, you can find here, you, you can find this is in this um, in this project, open source project. Uh, so who use uh, Andro VM? Uh, first of all, we have a lot of people who download it. We, we didn't uh, too much talk about it at the moment. Uh, this is, we, we do in, in Europe two uh, DroidCon conference, uh, one in Amsterdam and one in the UK. So today, the third conference we do and we present the, 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 the project. We have in six, more, six months more than 200,000 download of the, of, the, of the project. So it's, it's quite a lot, well, we think it's quite a lot. And um, so many people who use it, first of all, of course, is developers um, who develop application. So it's not here your main focus, but you have a lot of developer who is very happy to have this system and to develop it because it's better than the, the Google one. Um, also, um, people who want, of course, to play and to use application on their PC, uh, mainly it's gamers. Uh, so you have a lot of projects who use our system and to do like a, a game box and to play uh, Android, um, Android games on it. Um, in France, uh, we are very, uh, you have a big industry about internet box. We have four uh, carriers in France and uh, a lot of people uh, have a box to go to the internet and we are still now talking about some manufacturer who create this box to have Android and to play Android application uh, in-house on the TV um, and with using our, our, our product. Uh, you have another kind of population who is in using it and um, it's quite interesting. It's all the sales people and marketing people are project manager who need to do a demo. Uh, it's so a nightmare when to you want to show someone uh, a program you develop or when you are in a show and you want to do a demo about your products who is based on Android. It's always complicated. You have problem about connection. Everyone is behind your small device. Uh, I'm sure every one of you have this experience. So to be able to do a presentation or training uh, on Android device and application, Android VM is perfect for that. So a lot of people is, is using it at the moment to, for this kind of use. And the last and not least useful of Android VM, and it's why we are here, it's for OEM and manufacturer. Uh, because in our activity and consulting activity in France, we have quite a, a lot of in industry. Um, uh, they have big problem to work with partner and with developer to develop in their projects. So like I told you, you have GCDQ who have quite huge screen. So if I am a developer or if I am a partner and I would like to develop on it, it's very complicated for GCDQ to send you a screen. Um, so if I am also Parrot, I don't know if you know French company Parrot, who does a drone. I don't know if you know the drone, it's a plane, yes, you, 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 you can fly with it with, a, with your device, with, with your phone. It's very famous in France. They develop a, a, a car radio system whose name is Asteroid. So it's a car radio system based on Android. For them also, it's very useful uh, for partnership for people who develop for the application for the radio system to have access to it. 
So all this kind of manufacturer, OEM, is very happy to have their RAM, who is part to Android VM. And, and, and so they can share the RAM and this application to their partner so they can develop, test on it, uh, and they don't need to have the real device with them. Uh, so we think this is also major use of uh, our product. Um, so why use Android VM and the SDK uh, emulator? So like I, um, I told you before, uh, first of all, it's quite quick. Um, it works on all kind of uh, PC, so Linux, Windows, and Mac. Um, and it can work on uh, um, x86 AMD Intel processor, so it works everywhere. Um, this is the main, simple, and the fastest uh, emulator on Android. Also, and this is important, it's a professional solution. Like you know, uh, Google is quite famous. They make very good products, but they have a specific strategy around Android. We see it in France. Um, they have a strategy for mass market. We are the user and we use Android, but they don't have at all any strategy about business market. Okay, Android for them is very good to sell their products uh, and to sell Google Apps and access to Google Apps with my smartphone and my tablets. But if I am a manufacturer like GC Deco or like a Parrot or like Legrand in home automation and I would like to use Android, I call Google in France. No one answer me. Okay? And for the email address, the same thing. If you need help, if you need some people from Google to help you to port your RAM, to the VM, no one can help you. So it's like when I was working before on the Linux uh, system, we always say with Linux, you don't have a software editor who develop the products. So we make services and consulting company and we sell support. Like Red Hat done with uh, Red Hat distribution, they give support and maintenance on Linux. We would like to do the same with Android. We would like to be the Red Hat of Android. So with a company who work in the business and they want support on Android and they want to do uh, deploy Android and specific Android RAM, we do the professional support, 24-hour support and consultancy like do Red Hat on Linux. So we are working uh, in a specific distribution uh, of Android and we're working with the uh, Android VM emulator for our customer, manufacturer, who would like to pour their RAM inside to it. So by using Android VM, you will have a company like us who can do consulting and help you to manage your RAM and create your RAM and port it to this emulator. So this is very important. If you use the Google one, you won't have any support for anyone. You are alone. So this is very important. Um, we also see, uh, I don't know if some people of you go, went to the uh, COS in Las Vegas this year. You have a lot of products now who is based on Android. Uh, you have watch, you have a lot of things, a lot of connected object who is based on Android. Um, and most of this company who make these products, like Sony for the watch, um, like uh, Gisedeco for, for, for uh, their digital display, like uh, Parrot for the, uh, for the radio system, like Samsung, um, for, for, for the fridge, and they have Android on it, they need to create a community around their products. They would like to, or like Amazon, where well, Amazon have their own Android, or Barnes & Noble have their own Android, and they would like to create a community around their products, and a community of developers who develop on their system. And we think that Android VM could be a very useful for them, um, because well, if you pour your ROM into Android VM emulator, and you deploy and, uh, and, and you give it to developer, they can develop on your system. And uh, in a way, it's very simple for them and they can test their application and they don't need to buy your products. They, they, they can download the ROM and deploy it and they can make the test with that. And we see this in France and GC Deco is launching um, in a few months their own SDK for the digital display for developer to develop and they want to create a community of developer around their digital display. And they will use Android VM 
to pour the RAM inside the simulator and to send this to the community of developers. And this is a very big challenge. Um, you see BlackBerry here is coming. Well, well, the deal for BlackBerry is to have a huge community of developers who develop on their system. So we think under them it could be very useful for OEM and manufacturer to catch this community if they pour the ROM into this emulator. And we will help them to do that. Uh, more to come. So what we are working on at the moment, so we have five uh, developer dedicated to this project actually in France and we are working um, in uh, the Android, uh, Android VM manager who will be on the cloud so uh, in the cloud you will can you will manage your all the VM you would like to use you will manage all the parameter of your VM and very important you will manage all the share system you would like to do so I would like to share this version of virtual machine with this kind of people, this population, another version with another kind of population, and this can be made centralized. And so developer can connect to the platform and uh, say, I would like to be connected to Amazon and I uh, catch the Amazon uh, VM for, um, for their uh, devices, or I can be connected and to say, I would like a uh, Samsung Galaxy S4 device and they would download the RAM for it. Uh, so all, everything will be managed on the cloud. Uh, and that is our business model. So we will sell this cloud version to manufacturer and OEM. So it will be free for developers, but it will be company will pay for that. So we are working on the cloud version at the moment. Um, and it will arrive normally, when I say in four or five months maximum. We also work in Sensor. So we, a lot of developers ask us some sensor like Bluetooth, a lot of people, camera, to use a camera of your computer, um, um, and to have also a, a geolocalization. So, so we are working to emulate all this and to give uh, uh, all this new functionality uh, on, the, on the virtual machine. Uh, another thing is important, uh, mostly for developers, it's to test um, uh, 3G and 4G. Uh, if I am a developer and I develop an application and I would will, will like to see how my application is working if I have problem with the network, actually in France, in Paris, uh, when we work with company, if you want to test a problem with the network, you have to go in the subway. And when you take the subway, you see how, what happened with the connection when you, it's cut, it goes fast and slow and things like that. So we would like to emulate all this kind of situation in the 3G and 4G inside Android VM. I don't have to send developers into the subway to test that. Um, so the reference I give you, so we, we work with Zisha the Coast, so, so this is a future, you, you have two or three in Paris, the future uh, uh, um, specific uh, mach, ma, ma display in the, in the street. Um, I'm sure tomorrow in the States you will have some from Zisha the Coast, or why not Clear Channel, we'll work on that. Um, so it will be on the street and you can interact with it. You have services for calling a taxi to find a, f uh, a pharmacy at night, a uh, thing like that. So we work in a lot of services around it. And this is based on Android. We also work with Coyote. I don't know if you know Coyote. It's like TomTom. -Tom. I'm sure it's very famous in the US, TomTom. -Tom. In France, we have a company who's called Coyote. And it's quite famous uh, uh, company. And it's mostly because in France, in the railways, you have some radar for the speed, uh, and this is very famous because it tells you where is uh, the, the or, or in the, um, on the railways where is uh, all the machine could detect your speed. So it's very famous uh, solution, and we work also with them for uh, to port to Android, and they will use Android VM for all the testing and for the community of developers who who use it. So it was two two example. Uh, I'd like to show you uh, today. Um, just before going to the FAQ, I'll try to connect back to Daniel because I, I think the connection was lost. So I just, sorry about that, just take two seconds to connect back to him.
Hello, Daniel. Hi, again. Um, so, um, I, I will just sh share you my screen. Just a second. Uh, I will show you that. Okay. Okay. Can you see the the slide? Not yet, but I assume you are on the frequently asked questions slide. Yes. Yes. So I, I, I let you perhaps. Uh, Take the relay and, and 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 answer to these three main question. And after I will ask all the population who are here in San Francisco if they have any que question and must be technical question um, that you can answer. For the first question is uh, Daniel, why using virtual box? Okay, so obviously that's uh, one of the main question we have when we present uh, um, Andrew VM. So. Um, Short answer is that it's uh, for us it's the best solution for virtualizing Android uh, because uh, we have the source code of um, VirtualBox uh, when compared to other virtual solutions like VMware, which are closed and which are more difficult to understand for for us. The second reason is that it's uh, faster than the um, solution used by um, Google when they developed the um, Android emulator, uh, which is based on QMU and KVM for the um, x86 acceleration or x86 Android uh, images. And uh, when we just compare um, the emulator using x86 images, and VirtualBox using another Android uh, x86 image, you just see that the, the VirtualBox one is much uh, much fa faster, in fact. Um, another reason is that uh, VirtualBox is well bundled and it's easy uh, to deploy, install on uh, Linux, Windows, and Mac OS X uh, systems. Uh, whereas with KVM, you have some Problems you can you can have some problems installing the product and for example with um, AMD processors um, you can only use Linux so it's quite difficult you you have less less system supporting the uh, the, the product but any, anyway even if we use VirtualBox uh, the the job we've done an Android VM is um, much independent from the virtualization system. And uh, for example, we have um, very good reports for people using Android VM on VMware. We also have some people who, um, who are trying to use Android VM on Xen systems on other ones. But so that means that if you, you want to look e into that, you can just grab the source code from Android VM, Android VM which is uh, stored in GitHub. And you can just uh, try to recompile a version for your favorite um, virtual virtual system. Okay, thank so you. So then, another question we have um, is: Is Android VM based on Android X uh, eighty six? Uh, so here again, we have a short answer, which is just no, uh, and that's because we we wanted Android VM to be as close as possible from the AOSP. Uh, source code because um, we, we think that for developers it's interesting for them to have something which is very close to the stock and doing the Android source code. But uh, obviously we have um, a lot of uh, common concerns in Androvium and in the Android x86 project. But, so that's why we, we contribute uh, into the Android, Android x86 um, uh, project and for example we contribute some uh, libraries and some patch to run uh, ARM libraries uh, using the Houdini libraries from uh, from Intel. So to so to be complete, we don't we are not based on in Android x86 uh, project, but we contribute to uh, to it. And then we have another, another question uh, from developers 
uh, they want to know if Android VM is compatible with their favorite um, functional tests uh, tool or integration tools. So for example, tools like Monkey, uh, Robotium, uh, which is based on Selenium. Uh, another tool is UA, UI Automator, which was introduced by Google in, um, I think that's in 4.0 in the ICS release. Uh, or um, they want to know if they can use Android VM with a Jenkins, which is a continuous integration tool uh, that is uh, used for, um, for testing Android um, uh, applications. Uh, so here again, the short, we have a short answer. It's yes, uh, and it's yes because these different tools use some standard communication protocols. Most of them use the ADB, Android Debug Bridge Protocol. And uh, as uh, any uh, Android devices, either physical or vi virtual, we we have ADB uh, demand in the Android VM version. That, so that means that you can use your favorite uh, functional test tool or integration test tool uh, for uh, Android VM. Um, and so, for example, you can find on YouTube some people who who um, upload a, a video and uh, Monkey versus uh, Robotium testing battle on Android VM using the, the the two tools at the same time to to see which one is uh, is faster. So. If you want some example of uh, Android, VM, Android VM running this tool, you can find this uh, video in, um, in YouTube. <coughs> OK, S thank you very much, uh, Daniel. So, um, so you can download from uh, the, the, the solution and the products um, from androvm.org. <coughs> you have a, a user group on Google Groups. Of Android VM, so you can chat with people who's in using, using it, and uh, and Daniel and his team can answer to all your questions by using the products. On the booth here, we have all the the key with the the, the product inside, uh, and really don't hesitate to come back to us and to give you our feedback: what is good, what is not good, what is missing. Uh, why you would like to use it or why not. We are very interesting because we're still developing all the product and all the solution. So we are very happy to have feedback from, from you guys um, on, on our solution. Do we have any technical question about this presentation? Yes, sir. Okay, so the, the question you ask is, uh, do we have any solution to develop our own parallelized uh, virtualizer? This is, I'm right? Uh, no, no, no. Paravirtualization yeah. is executing the same instructions on the same type of platform. So you're running x86 Android on top of an x86. But when I'm trying to do virtualization of an Android platform, Okay. Did you heard it, uh, Daniel, or not? Okay. You, do you hear me? Or? Yes. Okay. Uh, so the, the answer is uh, no. We, we don't have this type of uh, documentation. Uh, but obviously, that's, that would be quite interesting for us to look uh, into that. So may, maybe we can stay in contact and work, discuss together how we could, uh, we could do that. Other question? OK, thank you very much. And I hope you will uh, enjoy the projects and use it quite a lot. Thank you very much.